Good morning, everybody. Cheers to the freaking weekend. It's Saturday, it's Saturday morning. It's a real struggle for me to get out of bed this morning. I think my housemate's gonna come in. Is my housemate gonna come in? No, he's not, interesting. Um, I thought I'd update you on what you missed yesterday. So first of all, as promised in the cliffhanger, that was uh, the last vlog, I made some prints and I've made a few. This is how they've come out. I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. Do you know what, I found this old, oh my gosh, um, this old sketchbook that I had. I hadn't really used it. This is what I was using to sketch this out um, in the beginning, but the paper in it's really, really nice. Um, and that's what these are printed on. Anyway, yeah, and it's like, it was the perfect size for the, for the, the liner itself, so made a couple of these, these are fun, so like these like ta-da lines, I kept them quite thick, um, I wish I'd made them a bit smaller just because I was, I think I was a bit worried about making them too small, but then uh, I kept them quite big, but I mean they look fun, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. Next update is my dad made me a loaf of bread, cheers dad, I had a couple slices last night, and I'm gonna make myself a sandwich, it's very soft, it's really nice, this is what my dad's doing in retired life. Um, I know for a lot of people this is lockdown one hobby, but Paps is uh, doing it in lockdown three, so I'm gonna make myself a sandwich. Right this sec. Hello my dudes, um, I'm just chilling this Saturday afternoon. You can hear the kettle in the background. I don't know why I felt compelled to tell you that these are my favorite type of these bars, but I did. So here we are. Um, it's the Trek. <laughs> this is not <laughs> It's the Trek. I'll, I'll get out of the shop. <laughs> it's the Trek uh, Coco, Coconut. They're my favorite. The flat tracks, they're really good. Um, we're good, you know, afternoon snack. I thought I'd have the same. I've got dressed. That's good, isn't it? See you in a bit. <laughs> what is going on with my fringe? Let's just address that. Ugh, I've made the tea, I've sat down, and I think I'm gonna trim a bunch of my prints. Ugh, I do have a really swish pair of scissors, which I love, they're from Hay. And Oh, I love them. I'm really tempted to get one of those hay crates to put like all my prints in and stuff. I got a like a three trolley caddy thing. You've probably seen it in my bedroom. I got that. Where did I get that? I'm just getting my tools. Sometime in lockdown, and it's kind of a bit hodgepodge. I've got like Christmas cards on it, so I'm like I need to clear that out. So I'm tempted to make that a lino, like one of the the trays, a little a little lino. I know thing. I really, do you know what? I really think that kit that I got, um, which I showed it, me getting it a couple of vlogs ago, I'm tempted to get another one. I think it was such good value and it'd be really cool to have an extra roller and a few extra bits and bobs that just come in it, like more ink would be really good. And I'm just tempted to order like, a bunch more stuff because uh, I'm really enjoying myself. And whilst, because I did not just order the kit, like I ordered like some extra lino and stuff like that, but I'm tempted. I really wish I had my cutting map. It's at my parents' house. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna have to do it because you know what? It's bringing me joy. A lot of my friends are being really complimentary about it. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird because I'm just like I'm doing this for fun. Like I am literally doing this for nobody else but me. But I've had a lot of people being like, "Can I?" That's really nice. And I'm like, "Would you like one?" Because you can totally have one. I don't need a nest of scorpions. This here is uh, rice paper. Um, which is like really really nice to print on um it's a little bit thinner as you can see but what's quite fun about it because it might seem like oh it's just like almost like toilet roll like in a pub <laughs> in a dive bar but um what's cool about it is um when you're printing so like when i've got like face down on um the lino i can see it come through so it's really easy for me when i'm um sort of using the baron on it to transfer i can like see all of it which is like really handy in the printing process but also it lends itself really nicely to being printed on although i know i said it wait i said it earlier didn't i about this paper being really nice to print on and it's just random notebook that i had like i've got i'm such a sucker for like a arts fair i think i actually got that at the first university I went to. I went to university when I was 19, first of all. But I've just finished my degree. I went back when I was 24 um, to a 
to a different university. But do you know what? I have this book that I got at like a book fair at the first uni that I went to. And I love it. It's about <laughs> typography layouts, which sounds really fucking lame. But it's just like, I don't know, I really like it. Anyway, and I, I want to look through it for some inspo. Because I really liked... Hold up. So I did do... I don't know if I showed these. I don't know if I did. Um, so the Monstera leaf was like the first big one that I did. I literally based it on, oh, you won't be able to see, I've got a Monstera there. Literally my favorite leaf on Monstera I based it on. And then I made up, I've got one here. I made up this like palm frond. I kind of like looked at a couple pictures online of palm fronds and I, can, I could not tell you what type of palm frond this is. <laughs> Ali's palm frond, but I think it looks pretty cool. Anyway, I only had, cause I bought acrylic paint because block ink is like molecularly quite similar because it's like a water based so it's, so it's acrylic um but what's interesting is only when printing it that i really sort of like notice the difference and because i'm you know new to this type of printing well not new but like rediscovering this type of printing acrylic is a lot less sticky which you want it to be sticky when you're using the roller so um it evenly coats the roller so that you can roll it onto your liner to make an impression and then also it did stick to some of the paper as well i mean again this could be used for error like you can make it work but like i don't know if you'll be able to see with this one more this is like on the rice paper it was fine but on like the standard sort of like thicker paper it started to rip and stuff so yeah so it's less sticky and you can't like reactivate it which basically means if you put a bit of water on in your tray with this like i'm talking like a splash if it's dried up you're good to go again whereas with um acrylic once it dries it dries so i think i want to get some more colors and stuff and um, they do this like whole set of like white black and then um, sort of primary colours, which could be fun. Um, so I could like, make my own colours. I thought that would be fun. Um, and also, like, I really like the idea of, like, layering prints. Now, obviously, these are two types of leaves. Um, I quite like how they looked together. And I like the idea of layering multiple um, linos. And sort of, whether it's, like, completely over, like this, like, completely two of them over together. I'll get one of them. I did, like, one with, like, the stems the same way as well. Um, or if it's like, just having fun, man. Anyway, so I want an extra tray, I want an extra roller, and I just, yeah, I just thought the kit was really good. Um, anyway, I'm gonna trim these up, baby. Oh my god, I've been talking for six minutes. What have I been talking about? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna sip my tea, put some tunes on. Who knows, I might even start making a new one, although I don't know what I wanna do. I thought about this one, I really wanted to do like a frame, but at the moment I don't really know what I would do. So maybe I'll have a think whilst I'm having a trim. But anyway, see you in a minute beginning of the end of the fairy tale gloss over the conservatorship and then nothing disappears hi my guys it's sunday evening and i've been trash at uh <laughs> vlogging today but the day is not over the night is young and as are we so i thought we would round out this vlog so i'm thinking about making a stew Ooh, exciting stuff i found this recipe online for vegan stew and cheesy dumplings so i'm gonna make that but like i don't have all the ingredients and <laughs> it could go horribly wrong but you know i'll link the recipe down below it could be rubbish but anyway that's what i'm gonna make because i bought from the supermarket they had like a, a stew veg combo and i've got a bunch of other veg too so i'm just gonna yeet it in um other things i don't know my own strength <laughs> and i broke my uh can opener which you know gains absolute guns i don't know how i quite did that actually i can so the spaghetti hoops that i buy because i'm six from tesco i buy the really really cheap ones because then there's no milk in them <laughs> it's a pretty i just realized i've got spaghetti juice like on the wall lol yeah basically it's like a really crap tin and you've got to really use your strength to open it anyway so i broke it also i've been working uh this evening so far i'm taking a bit of a break before i start my scraping on a new lino cut and because right i didn't plan on being like doing all the zodiac signs but i did scorpion just because i was like scorpion's got moxie small and mighty so i thought i'd do a scorpion anyway but now it's pisces season i think pisces season started yesterday so i thought oh 
I'll do like a koi carp. I've never drawn a fish before. So yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. So what my plan is, is I've obviously got like the scales. These are like, this is like my guide drawing. And then I'm a bit more serious when I um, start going in with the um, tool. But then also, if you can see, so I've been looking at koi scales something i've never paid attention to before in my life um and sometimes you get half and half but what i'm thinking is like doing it like inverted um because i'm only gonna be using one color for this print but then i can have like these scales so this is like a section that i've done here around this fin um so then the scales could be embossed and then the um lines in between can sort of be concave and then the opposite be true so then the, the lines stick out and then the so it's using both colours, sort of the colour of the paper and the, the ink. Anyway, I mean, it could go terribly wrong, but that's what this is all about, baby. Just having a go, trying. But anyway, I'm starting to get hungry and this stew takes about an hour. So I thought I would get cracking. It's just a lot of chopping veg, to be honest. So I thought I'd get cracking with that. And then whilst it's simmering away, I could start scraping on this. Anyway, guys, some tunes. Gonna do a little, nice little cookie, cooking montage. Woo, it's not like you haven't seen more of this from me before. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna put on some bumping tunes um, and get chopping. Like that's effectively all the cooking that I need to do is chop, chop, chop. a labor of love these dumplings i haven't had dumplings in ages oh my god they look so good i'm so excited i don't think i've ever made dumplings with cheese in before and i had to finish off the last of my dad's bread give it a nice old dunk oh my god i'm so excited this is oh my gosh this is the most unappealing looking meal it's like and also it's like one of the most like british meals i've ever seen <laughs> fucking root veg stew with a dumpy or two. Oh my god i'm so excited hang on i'll do a taste test obviously i i tasted the broth whilst i was cooking and i was i was happy with it oh i want to try the dumpling the dumplings always go first don't they oh my god it's warm mm -hmm. great decisions have been made oh my god Feeling like I'm really celebrating my farmer roots here. Fun fact, I know that West Country folks such as myself are stereotypically either pirates or farmers. <laughs> my my grandpa was a was a farmer. <laughs> my mum grew up on a farm. Anyway. <laughs> if I, I know my mum would be so jealous of this meal right now. <laughs> mm. Oh my god! Guys, I never mean to blow my own trumpet, but I am a fantastic cook. I'm also, you know happy to put furniture together and all that but i think i'm a really good cook too so you know and i'm excited to eat this oh my god uh. mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 